Now to Green Senator Marine Faruqi, the first Muslim woman elected to an Australian parliament. On Thursday, she tweeted, I'm not interested in letters from the Queen unless they contain an apology for the trail of destruction inflicted by British colonialism and a commitment to reparations. Reparations? If it were not for British colonialism, Faruqi would not be drawing a $210,000 base salary courtesy of the taxpayer. This tertiary educated feminist would be living a very different life back in her native Pakistan, which isn't exactly a bastion of progressive thought. But if she wants to harp on about reparations for historical atrocities, well, Senator, we're all ears. Here's the late Christopher Hitchens. We estimate one and a half million European and American slaves taken between 1750 and 1815. Jefferson and Adams went to their ambassador in London and said, why do you do this to us? The United States has never had a quarrel with the Muslim world of any kind. We weren't in the Crusades. We weren't in the war in Spain. Why do you do this to our people and our ships? Why do you plunder and enslave our people? And the ambassador said very plainly, Mr. Abdul Rahman said, because the Quran gives us permission to do so, because you are infidels. And that's our answer. Come to think of it, history isn't one of Faruqi's strengths. We need to seriously reconsider the utility of the ANZAC Alliance and get US troops off Australian soil. <laughs> nothing, nothing good has ever come from their presence here. Did she really say nothing good has come from the presence of American soldiers in Australia? The Supreme Commander in the Southwest Pacific received an overwhelming ovation on arrival in Melbourne. He's organizing from Australia the Allies' reply to Japanese treachery, insolence and brutality. Actually, facts in general don't sit well with Faruqi. Remember when she claimed coronavirus disproportionately affects women? Let us not forget that COVID-19 is a gendered crisis. From Italy, we're seeing a ver another concerning trend that the mortality in males seems to be twice in every age group of females. And what was her reaction when this was pointed out? I spoke out about gender, the issues of gender inequality and how the pandemic was affecting women more. And I was hung out to dry by the right-wing media. Um, they criticised me on pretty much every media channel they had made fun of me and said um, that I was playing identity politics. Maybe, just maybe, that was because she was playing <laughs> identity <laughs> politics. Sounds like someone's got a bad case of calling out others for behaviour she too is guilty of. Unfortunately, online trolling is something that New South Wales Greens MP, Dr Maureen Faruqi, knows a lot about. Yes, Faruqi knows a lot about online trolling, all right. Here she is last December tweeting to Prime Minister Scott Morrison. Just F off. Oh, charming. Imagine if a white conservative male politician had said that to her. And Faruqi didn't take it kindly when it was pointed out that it's not a smart move to attend a mass protest rally in the midst of a pandemic. I proudly attended the Black Lives Matter rally in Sydney on unceded Gadigal land on Saturday, the 6th of June. I have to say I'm really angry at the way members of the government have sought to shame mine and Senator Rice's attendance. Well, taking all these examples into account, one has a choice of two conclusions. First, either Faruqi is the most victimised woman in Australia. Alternatively... We are told we have a victim mentality. 